Hello and welcome to Daily News Analysis by Abhir Shiksha. Today is 11th of May. This is our news list for today. It is National Technology Day today. This day is celebrated on 11th May every year in India. The day highlights the achievements of tech giants, researchers and engineers in technology in our country. The theme being chosen for National Technology Day for 2023 is School to Startups Igniting Young Minds to Innovate. This day was first established in the year 1999 by our former Prime Minister of India, Atal Bihari Kajpai, in order to commemorate the five Pokhran nuclear tests done by the Indian Army in May 1998 to determine the power of the bombs. India has witnessed explosive growth thanks to the contribution of technological advancements. National Technology Day is the perfect occasion to acknowledge the effort of scientists and engineers as growth drivers. Then we have this news from Ayush. AIIA or All India Institute of Ayurveda and CCRAS or the Central Council for Research in Ayurvedic Sciences have jointly organized an interactive meet on research and education in Ayush. The objective behind this meet is to brainstorm and set goals to capitalize on the expertise and experience of the chairs in academic and research avenues. The participants discussed the research education ecosystem in Ayush colleges in both graduation and post-graduation levels. The meeting was focused on research and development, education and capacity building in the Ayush sector. Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi to inaugurate International Museum Expo 2023 in New Delhi on 18th May. This expo, the International Museum Expo, is a one-of-its-kind historic event as it is the first time that the government will be showcasing new technology and initiatives for development of museums. This will not only demonstrate India's soft power, but will also act as a means to bridge the gap between economy and knowledge. Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh chairs the first steering committee meeting of Deep Ocean Mission. The Deep Ocean Mission is a high-level, multi-ministerial, multidisciplinary program for better understanding of the deep sea living and non-living resources of the Indian Ocean and will help in India's efforts to attain the blue economy status. It is said that in the years to come, the blue economy will be a major contributor to India's overall economy and the deep ocean mission announced by the Prime Minister will be the core component of it. Union Health Ministry launches Saksham Learning Management Information System. Saksham is an acronym that stands for Stimulating Advanced Knowledge for Sustainable Health Management. The platform Saksham is a dedicated and unified platform for providing online training and medical education to all health professionals in the country. It will ensure inclusive capacitive building of health professionals from primary health centers located in rural areas and remote areas all the way up to tertiary care and corporate hospitals in metropolitan cities. As per this news, currently Saksham is hosting more than 200 public health and 100 clinical courses through online mode. Now we will know about the 35th edition of Indo-Thai Coordinated Petrol or Corpet. Towards reinforcing maritime linkages between the two countries and with an aim of keeping this vital part of the Indian Ocean safe and secure for international trade, the Indian Navy and the Royal Thai Navy have been undertaking Corpat biannually since 2005 along the international maritime boundary line. The mission Corpat builds up understanding and interoperability between navies and facilitates instituting measures to prevent and suppress unlawful activities like illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, drug trafficking, piracy and armed robbery. 
It further helps enhance the operational synergy by exchanging information for the prevention of smuggling and illegal immigration and for the conduct of search and rescue operations at sea. The 35th Indothai Corpat is another step towards enhancing Indian Navy's efforts to consolidate interoperability and forge strong bonds of friendship between India and Thailand. The Union Minister Sri Sarbananda Sonowal launches the Harit Sagar, the Green Port Guidelines 2023. The Harit Sagar guidelines have been launched to meet the larger vision of achieving zero carbon emission goal. These guidelines envisages ecosystem dynamics in port development, operation and maintenance while aligning with working with nature concept and minimizing impact on biotic components of harbor ecosystem. It lays emphasis on use of clean or green energy in port operation, developing port capabilities for storage, handling and bunkering greener fuels like green hydrogen, green ammonia, green methanol, ethanol, etc. These guidelines provide a framework for the major ports for drawing out a comprehensive action plan for achieving targeted outcomes in terms of quantified reduction in carbon emission over defined timelines through focused implementation and close monitoring of green initiatives and to achieve sustainable development goals. Then the next news is about the mission Amrit Sarovar. More than 50,000 Amrit Sarovar have been completed before the deadline on the mission Amrit Sarovar, which is a big achievement for the Ministry of Rural Development. The mission Amrit Sarovar was launched on 24th April 2022 with a view to conserve water for the future. The objective of the mission was to develop at least 75 Amrit Sarovar in every district of the country on the occasion of Amrit Mahotsav of Independence. Overall, under this mission, a target was set to build 50,000 Amrit Sarovar by August 15, 2023, which has been achieved ahead of schedule. So far, 50,071 Amrit Sarovar have been completed. So even before August, more than 50,000 Amrit Sarovars have already been built. To achieve the resolution of rainwater conservation and harvesting through Mission Amrit Sarovar, the Ministry, the Ministry of Rural Development, Government of India, acting as the nodal ministry, is working in mission mode to achieve the goal in collaboration with various ministries. The mission Amrit Sarovar also aims to construct or renovate the Amrit Sarovar in such a way that they become center of local community activities. A user group is being formed for each Amrit Sarovar as there should be community ownership in the maintenance of Amrit Sarovar so that their long-term conservation can be ensured. CM launches Ayushman Asom scheme. The Ayushman Asom scheme seeks to expand the ambit or the reach of the center's Ayushman Bharat scheme. The Ayushman Bharat scheme provides cashless health insurance of up to rupees 5 lakh to 56 lakh families. The eligibility criteria for the Ayushman Asom scheme is that all Russian card holders will be eligible for the scheme. The Ayushman Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana covers around 30 lakh families in the state. And the Ayushman Asom scheme that has been recently launched will be complementing the scheme and cover the remaining 26 lakh families currently under NFSA. So that was all we had for today's news analysis. We urge you to join our Telegram channel for relevant PDFs and further information. Civil services aspirants may join us with our study circle for detailed discussion and preparation tips. Our crash course is going on, so do check it out for a number of subjects as relevant to you. That's all. Thank you so much.